Hi folks, so in motor racing we all love watching a good smash and Ultimate Ballista 2, because of its brilliant damage model, does that pretty well. Look, we've got bits of car falling off, we've got dents, we've got bumpers hanging off, spoilers coming off, wheels, the lot. It's really good. And not only that, also the AI can be really impressive when dealing with a big smash. Here's a whole field of cars going to Griffin's Benz at Bathurst. Two of them have crashed on the inside, one of them facing the wrong way around and pretty much the whole field has slowed down and navigated that really well. That's really impressive, however there are some problems. For instance, ones like this. I found this when I was testing at the new Watkins Glen circuit and I got my testing wrong and hit this wall. Now, what's that all about? That's not a hole in the track, I've tested for holes in the track. That's a problem with the way that the damage models just reacted and the crash physics. And this brings up another problem because when I then restarted or went back to the pits, got back into my car, here you go, those two wheels that came off, they're still off. And this will also carry over, if you're in a qualifying session and that happens, it will then carry over to your race session. So you have to spend the whole, the only thing that you can do is come back out of the, uh, out of the game and start again. So I'd love to see that get fixed. Plus, it looks really weird in replays. Look at that. So, um, what do you think? Do you, what do you think of the crash physics? Um, the way the cars move in a crash in Automobile Ballista 2. Could that be looked at? Could it? Could the cars react physically the way they move more like, say, eye racing or something like that? Um, I'll just show you this quick example because this is when I think the damage model and the crash physics work really well. So. There you go, I love the way, as I made the mistake on the kerb there, the car's come and hit the wall, it went to turn over, skidded on its side for a little bit, and then finally turned over as it slowed right down. And, uh, oh look, the AI are being clever again. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And uh, in the meantime, I'll leave you with this. If you want this channel to survive, do me a favor and hit subscribe. May seem like a small thing to do, but it enables me to make more videos for you. By hitting that button, you can help us survive. Survive and keep this town alive. Don't cost nothing, don't take no time. Come on now, keep this town alive.